So guys, it's your boy Dominic and um, we are back on the grind. We're gonna start today off with a roadie gig and it's paid $30.81, a pickup from Walmart. Something long, but it's light. So perfect. It's going 14 miles over the flushing, but I don't mind, man. That's good cash flow. And I'm gonna turn on Spark as soon as I'm done picking up the item. I may even turn on Instacart when I'm done to see if I get something going that way something i'm gonna maybe uber eats but i am gonna try to dirty stat this gig to try to maximize our earnings i want to make as much as i could today today's super bowl sunday i'm not into football i don't even understand the game i wasn't born here guys you know what i say when you go to rome do as the romans do but this ain't rome <laughs> so um, guys $30.81, almost at the Walmart. Got a little lucky with that one. And you know why I got lucky? Because I kept checking the app, saw the gig, and maybe people are busy right now. So I'll take that. But it should be very, very congested over here right now because, you know, people are trying to pick up stuff for the Super Bowl and all that kind of, you know? Yeah, but I'm not into all of that though. But I'm looking to capitalize. For sure, for sure, for sure. So guys, see you at Walmart and I'll keep you posted. All right, guys, got that scooped up. Yeah, that was quick though. But um, I took an Instacart, picking up six items and it's going over to Astoria. So this is going to Flushing, then we're going to Astoria for an extra $31. Let's get it. So guys, we're still at Walmart and um, Let's get these six items picked up real quick. I just hope this is not a type of customer that keeps adding items, you know, to try to trap you into taking it and then they keep adding items. I'm not with that right now. I think I should take a cart before I go in. Uh, yeah. Guys, picked up some plastic cups. And we got to pick up some, um, some utensils. No, not utensils, but... Uh, Actually, some plates and some cups. You see. So, guys, these are for chips. So, and dip. And we're gonna get some chips right now. Let's get it. All right, guys, we got the ruffles now to pick up some cookies, and that's it. So, guys, we just picked up some cookie bark, Tate's Bake Shop. That's it. Seven minutes. Let's check out. Let's get these items delivered. All right, guys, get out of here and see if it's packed in and dropped off. We're gonna make $60 for the next hour. You know, not bad, not a bad start for the day. So guys, everything went smooth. The checkout process wasn't too bad. And we're 32 minutes away from the roadie drop off. And then we're gonna head to the Instacart drop off. She might be a little further out but uh it just tells you that there's traffic on the highway right now and that is why you have to actually stack man zifty don't want me to stack if, I, if there's anybody from zifty watching this right now i didn't mean to stack man i didn't mean to stack there were two orders at the same place and that's why i stacked it why not you see what i mean but i don't mean to stack man i'm a stacker i'm a dirty stacker but I didn't mean to stack your, your on your app. So you gotta know which apps you you, 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 you could stack on. And Zifty's not one of them. But um, if I'm gonna drive all the way over there to Flushing, 30 minutes, might as well stack it, man. You see what I mean? It's my gas, it's my vehicle. I'm gonna stack whatever I want. If the app don't like it, deactivate me. That is why there's many apps, just saying. Just saying, man. These apps are trifling. I'm gonna put it out there. Yeah, for the drop off. And this is my wife's blanket. So, yeah. Damn, I can't even remember if that was strapped in when my son sat on there. All right, let's get this thing chopped up. I don't know. Wonder. All right. Support. All right, take care, guys. Right up here, it should be up here. 
Right here. So guys, the Instacart is 21 minutes away and we got until 3.25 to drop it off. So extra early, perfect dirty stack. That's how I like to make my money, man. In large sums. I think this is 27, 21. Yep. Oh, thank you, I appreciate it. All right, sorry I couldn't hold the door for you. All right. All right, so. Take care, okay? All right, you too. All right, guys, we are at um, Costco. It is paying 28, 28 and change, and it's going into Manhattan. And uh, it's only about four miles, one shop. That's the reason I took it, because I don't want to have to go two different apartments for what, $6 more? So might as well do this, man. First time at this Costco, let's make it happen. By the way, guys, we are um, in Long Island City, over by um, Queensbridge area. Let's get it. All right, guys, we only need some mixed nuts, and we're done. Guys, today is a day where you avoid wing spots, pizza spots. Doesn't matter if it's a catering, you avoid it unless it's paying $50 and up and it's worth your time, then yeah. Otherwise, uh-uh. And I see the mixed nuts. Gonna join the line for checkout, which might be another headache. All right, guys, done with that shop and checkout process in about 20 minutes. And the drop off ain't that far. I think I might work this, um, this Costco today. And that was a plan of mine to work this Costco, you know. But one day I came home from Manhattan and I was getting orders from right here. And I was saying, I gotta work this Costco. Because like Manhattan is like right over there. I think that's like Roosevelt Island and then Manhattan is like right behind. But yeah, the water is like right there. Picturesque. So guys, I gotta say that experience at Costco was very pleasant line didn't take long the shop didn't take long everything was like really really fast and a drop off is 24 minutes away so by the time we drop this off it's going to be 4 17 and we'll be um almost at a hundred dollars we'll be about about almost almost not about 90 bucks i think not bad 90 dollars and i think when i'm done I'm just gonna come back over here and do it all over again. We could work this area, guys, because guess what? It's Sunday. It's Super Bowl Sunday, but it is Sunday. The roads are empty. People are gonna be in their houses watching football. And I'm not gonna be caught up in the whole, you know, delivering pizza and wings and all of that right now. I'm not saying I'm not gonna do it if a great order comes in and it's gonna be ready. But I'm not with any of that right now. I'm all about Instacart right now. Did a roadie earlier. That's that's the game we're gonna play right about now, man. So, guys, I'm going across the um, Ed Koch Bridge, Free Bridge, down into Manhattan. Get this done. Let me see if I get a roadie coming off of Manhattan. You never know. Nothing right now, guys. Nothing. But yeah. I'll see you at the drop-off, man. This is easy, stress-free. Oh, and guys, I am actually passing the Greek spot where I did my first ever catering order and deliver that. It's right over there. The Greeks, the Greeks Grill, I think it's called. Yeah, it's close today too. But yeah, that's what's up, man. Three Greeks Grill. That's what it's called, Three Greeks Grill. Anyways, see ya.
All right, guys, I'm here to drop off on this building. It's kind of complicated. I don't even know where the building itself is. It's like, I don't know, this is weird, man. It's telling me to turn here. Let me turn right here. That's what it's telling me to do. It's telling me to turn here. Let me turn. Let me turn. Yeah. Very weird. Okay. It's like a private parking lot here, but um, I'm not seeing the address for this, for the for the address that I want to go. I'm seeing another address. I'm seeing 333 East. I need to be at 343 East, but it is what it is. I'm going to drive through and see what it is. Yeah, I'm going to drive straight up here. Yeah. Some of these buildings could be very complicated, you know very very complicated let me see something yeah i found it i found it i found it yeah i was just complicating things for myself but i found it so i'm gonna just park right here and get it dropped off yeah says um tell the doorman to give her a call so i'm gonna use a wagon and get this dropped off let's go This is heavy. Perfect fit. Guys, I did put in for a roadie gig. That's paying like $32 from BJ's coming back to Manhattan. So if I get that, that won't be bad at all. Cash flow, you know. I don't know why my car is not locking though. I hear it making a noise, but it's just not locking. Firm arrival. Yeah, I think I gotta. I don't know if I gotta take this up or not. Four mm, J. What's up, man? Got a Instacart delivery for 4J? All right, give me one second. Okay, she said to call her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me one second. Yeah, no problem. No problem. 4J? Yeah. 343 or 333? Um, what do you mean? 343. 343? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The name Paula. Paula? Yeah. Okay. That's your car right there? Yeah, the Acura. Okay, man, no problem. So guys, got that completed, and we're gonna take a 23 minute drive back to the Costco. It's only um, five miles, so that's not bad at all. Yeah, it's not gonna take anything out of our day, really. Five miles, easy. So I'm gonna just continue watching some YouTube videos, and then um, just to pass the time, 
This is too easy, man. This is too easy. If I get another Costco, just paying 30 to 50 bucks, that'll be perfect. So guys, wish me luck. See you at Costco. Let's do another run. So guys, came back to the, I've uh, been back at the Costco and it's been dead. It's been like really dead. I don't wanna, I, I, I give it a chance. I've been doing some video editing, brushing up on this video, making thumbnail, brushing up on some graphics and things. So I haven't really wasted any time, but um, yeah, the order, the order's dried up, man. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not ready to go back home quite yet. So yeah, I haven't made enough money. I only made about 90 bucks in four hours, which is, which is really good. You know, it's been four hours, but we made good money. If we didn't work for the entire four hours, but we had this little flow going and I didn't do much work for that money. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna head back to my neck of the woods. It might take me another half hour to get over there, but it is what it is. We gotta go back there anyways. And yeah, it's, it's dead over here right now, unfortunately. And I don't really feel like working Uber Eats and DoDash right now. I prefer to do those apps like, you know, along with another order, like Dirty Stack, supplementary, you know? I don't wanna be running around the place, dropping off food for people right now. Even though I could make money, that's not how I like to make my money, man. I like really good paying offers and, you know, yeah. Yeah, but anyways, man, I'm getting out of here. We'll talk. We'll talk, guys. See you on the flip side. Guys, we're back at Walmart, my local Walmart. And as soon as I pulled up, I got an order paying $27 to pick up six items going over to Kew Gardens. Highway miles, we should be over there in 20 minutes. Gotta love it, man. Alright guys, we're done with that shop real quick, about 12 minutes. They, they wanted like a conditioner. They didn't have it, so and they wanted a refund, no replacements. Even though I found the same thing but a smaller size, they just wanted a replacement. Um a refund, sorry. So guys got that Instacart shop for done. In about 20 minutes, checkout process, all of that good stuff. And I'm heading to Cold Stone on Uber Eats for about, I think it's about 650. It, it was from Trip Radar. I did take a screenshot. It should be Drugs right up there. So we're gonna oh, drop this shit. off in Valley Stream and then hit the highway and head over to Kew Gardens, make an extra 30 something dollars. Uh, I don't know. I might actually call it a day after that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, man, because I have to go out tomorrow and Tuesday, so I don't have to go super hard, but you know, I'm gonna put in some some work today because um, I didn't work a lot this week. I could have actually worked on Wednesday and, well, I did work a little bit on Wednesday, so I think the first part of this video would be from Wednesday and then, um, yeah, Thursday, I could have gone out as well. But I took the time to recover because I don't wanna, you know, keep pushing it even after I recovered from the flu and then get sick again. You know, because I wasn't like, I felt good, but I wasn't like 100% recovered. You see what I mean? So um, yeah, I don't wanna burn out, man. I don't wanna promote, promote that. I wanna promote hustling, but Hustling while you're a hundred percent. Well, 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 not a hundred percent, but hustling while you you you're good. You see what I mean? Cause I've gone out when I wasn't feeling a hundred percent, but this time was a little bit different, man. I haven't had the flu in a long time, so I just figured I'll just rest, basically, you know. So I'm pulling up to Cold Stone. Gonna get that scooped up, no pun intended, dropped off and head on about a merry way. So I don't know how much the order will go down after we refunded one item, but 
we should still make about $33 from this run. I'm getting a DoDash. What is it? $3. Cold Stone. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not doing that, man. Yeah. It's, going, it's not going in the same direction either. Or else I would have taken it. So let's scoop up this um, order. I'm not going to take you in, though. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, got that picked up. Let's get the, let's get the Dodash bag. This is the most accessible bag. And yeah, I don't know if I'm going to make any money on Dodash right now, but maybe I don't know. Cold Stone and Chipotle. No tips. Look, even though I'm going to make 20 I think they're still paying $29.93. I just don't like the no tip options, man. You see what I mean? I'm going to have to decline those and drop off the Uber Eats and the Instacart. Could make money on DoDash. That adjustment pay would come in. I know. I know. But sometime in the future, man. <laughs> Good. So guys, we're six minutes away from the Uber Eats drop-off. Then I'm just gonna hit the highway and drop off the Instacart. I know I keep repeating myself, but yeah. Yeah. So guys, just delivered the Uber Eats to someone's backyard. It was mad dark back there. I had to tell them it's dark and then they put on the light. But Freaking GoPro wouldn't record when I hit the damn power button. Maybe I need to open it and go again. Damn. So guys, what I realized is like so many orders out right now on both Uber Eats and DoDash, but there's not enough people to actually deliver the damn food because trip rate on Uber Eats is like packed up. And then I um, keep getting these orders on um, DoDash, of course. And then on Uber Eats, I got this order from a place called, was it China King? Like a good 10 minutes ago. And this order just came back to me. And I'm like, damn, there must be absolutely nobody out here to do these orders. So it came back for like seven and change to go down to Elmont. I said, you know what, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. When I'm done, I jump on the highway and drop off the Instacart. So basically, I'm gonna do it while on the way to the Instacart. Two orders before the, inst the first Instacart. What do you call that? Do you call that a, 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 a double dipped dirty stack? I don't know, but it should be ready. It should be a walk-in, walk-out situation. Pretty sure. We're one minute away from the pickup and it should be pretty smooth, make an extra $13 on the way to this Instacart. Gotta love it, man. So you maximize your earnings. We don't have to drop off this Instacart until, let me see, 7.39. And it's now 7 o'clock, so we got a lot of time, for sure. I know it's not going to be late. All right, now we're recording. Back in action, yeah, this, the GoPros are like weird, man. GoPros are weird. So oh, this should be ready. Hi. Picking up for Jessica. All right, thank you. Take care. Oh, the very fun. Yep, it was gonna be ready. 10 minutes away. Let's get it dropped off. Then do the Instacart. All right. That's how I like to make my money doing food delivery. Just like this. Dirty stacking. So by the time I'm done, I would have already racked up $40 
in this little time since we did the shop. That's how I love to do it, man. All right. 128. Take a photo. very sanitary but you know just following instructions leave that though let's get out of here when these two minutes away and I was gonna take that route anyway guys so yeah so guys um on the way to this drop-off Uber Eats added another order eight dollars and some change remember Every every time you work Uber Eats, once from when you pick up the order to when you drop it off, you make seventeen dollars and what ninety six cents an hour, something like that. So any kind of order that doesn't seem right, you will get the adjustment. So if you keep doing Uber Eats and DoorDash orders in NYC, you'll get an adjustment pay, you know, to make up for what you didn't get. So basically, right now. The next order I pick up is from Wendy's. I think it should be ready. But um, we're gonna pick up, oh shit, not here. We're gonna pick up from Wendy's and then the drop off is actually on the way to the Instacart, which is nuts. Like, you know, I know I should be heading to the Instacart, but if I could make money on the way there, why not, man, why not, why not? See what I mean? That's gonna be about what eight, six, and seven. That's gonna be almost twenty dollars on the way to drop off a twenty-seven dollar order. Maybe it'll drop to like twenty-six, but we shall see. So it's almost fifty dollars, man. You know? So yeah, I think I'll I'll make sure I try to do a DoorDash order tonight. Don't know about Grubhub. Grubhub not, has not been sending me anything this year. I don't think I did a grubber order for the whole year. Which is which is whatever, man. You know, but still. Miss Grubby. Alright guys. Make sure I'm recording. Alright. Going into Wendy's. Alright. With a GoPro strapped on my chest. Yeah, but I don't care though. I don't care. You gotta document everything, you know? Documentation. <laughs> oh, come on. Trying to stack. See? See what I hate? That's what I hate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hi, how are you? Yeah. Yeah, sir. Tra tray? Am I ready? Okay. Just like you. You meant like if I ride bike or something? Where's that? I mean, racing on a highway. No, 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 no. That's for that's for when you're young, man. I don't do that anymore. No, bro. It's not young. It's a hobby. How old are you? Huh? Um, guess, guess. About about 22. You see? I'm 37, man. I used to do that when I was 21. That's what I'm telling you. I know. Some, some people do like in there. But you shouldn't do it. You shouldn't do that, though. 
you should stop. Just stop. Because, you know, you deliver food, and if you get caught speeding, you know, you know, you're going to rack up so much points. Because if you get caught speeding, remember when, remember when you get caught, right? You're not going to get caught going 10 miles over the speed You're going to get caught like 90 or Exactly. Like, and know. that's like 40, 50 over. They're going to revoke your license like that. See what I'm saying? It's something you do when you're young, but as you get older, you want to start I mean, driving yeah. so slow. But nowadays, I'm just driving slow because yeah. my car is my work. So my like, advice, just cut it out. Don't don't feel the urge. Like if someone's come up come up to you yeah. and try to, just don't do it, man. Just don't do it because when you really think about it, it's not worth it. Yeah. It's fun, but you did enough of it, man. When you really think about it, right? Yeah. Cause yeah. I was just wondering, cause people who had no, 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 no. Oh, uh, you see Caesar dressing, Thank spicy you. chicken. Yeah. Okay, All right, man. Take Thank it you. easy, okay? Yeah. I will try my best to stop. Yeah, you you could do it. You could do it. <laughs> Let's be no, careful. It was a good time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's for Trey, right? Yeah. This this person, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll carry it. I'll carry it. Yeah. You got a shot? Yes. All right. Thank you. Let's see. Yeah, my dude. My dude was about to put. Put the freaking juice, the drink in the bag. Like, come on, bro. You bugging. Anyways, guys, it's 719. Complete pickup. You know? 11 minutes to the drop. And we head into the Instacart as well. Let me see how much time to the Instacart. Instacart, oh, 20 minutes. If we if we drop yeah we're gonna be late doesn't matter nothing perishable right. this is going to a building as well so yeah all right guys got that order dropped off the guy came down he came out of his house to get it so um we're eight minutes away from the Instacart drop-off, so I'm gonna make a U-turn and we're gonna get that dropped off. We were having a little conversation because he came down in a Ivory Coast national team jersey and I was asking him if they had won. You know, because the Africa Cup of Nations was actually, the final was today, but I haven't been following the, the tournament, like watching the tournament, I didn't watch any games. Because I'm busy, man. I'm trying to pay off some debt because I'm, I'm a football, soccer, football enthusiast. You know what I mean? And I just couldn't do it this time around, man. I just couldn't do it because I got bills to pay. So he said they won. So we're having a little conversation there. I was about to like, you know, it's getting the GoPro organized to do all of that. But yeah, I was a bit late. So we're gonna get that 7.43. It was just a couple minutes late, which is fine. You know, we gotta go into a building and all, so it is what it is. So um, I don't know what I'm gonna do, man. I don't know. I think I'm gonna just go home after this. I'm gonna crunch the numbers, go home after this. I might turn on Uber Eats to see if I get something going back towards my, my neck of the woods. And then just um, basically, you know, head home. I think I did good enough for a Sunday after going to the W2. Even though, guys, I didn't do anything at the W2 today, I swear to God. I didn't take no calls, no calls came in. Like, I usually work at JetBlue and nothing came in for JetBlue today. I was like, okay, thank you. 
And as, as I mentioned earlier, the same thing happened on Wednesday. So I had like two free days this week at the W2. <laughs> oh, easy money, man. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. I hope nobody from my job watches my videos. I doubt. Doubt that would ever happen. So, guys, see you at the, the drop off for the Instacart. All right, guys, this is a confusing, confusing housing complex, but I think we found the drop off. Make sure nothing falls out. One bag of cleaning supplies. I think it's right over here we're going, if I'm not mistaken. 154.20.82A. Yeah, I think we're right here. I think this is it. I think this is it right here. Yep, I think this is it. Let me see. Um, I'm from arrival. Leave at the door. 82 right there. Let me take a picture. Submit. I think it's the right place. Hey, how are you? Thank you. You jiking? Mm -hmm. Okay, just wanted to. I had found the. Uh, the conditioner, mm -hmm. but they don't have it in the big one. Mm -hmm. They had like a two pack and I try to reach out to you, but I know yeah, it said no substitutions too. No All right, no problem, take care. Yeah, thank you, no problem. All right, guys, got that dropped off and I explained, I explained, you know, and I don't know how much it went down, getting yeah, spark orders all the way over here. Uh, I don't know. So, we didn't do too bad this week on Instacart. Let me see what we did today. Um, the last order, twenty six fifty five. So, it didn't go down much. And we were pretty, pretty prompt. Were we late? Did it mark me as late? Let me see. I don't even know. Anyways, man. Um, guys, I'm going to run the numbers and I'll get back to you. All right, guys. Just pulled up in front of the house and let's run the numbers for today and the numbers for the week. It was a mild week. Monday, Tuesday, one order on Wednesday and Sunday. Mild week. This is a week, I must say, where we could have really made a lot of money. So today on Rudy, we made $30.81. Instacart came in clutch today big time. We ended up in Manhattan. Haven't been doing that a lot lately. But we made $86.17 and an Uber Eats did that triple dipped dirty stack for $22.35 and we made a grand total of $139.33. Not bad at all. Not bad. That was a solid day. We only worked for six and a half hours. And if you take away that time where we were traveling from Manhattan to the Costco and then doing, you know, some video editing in the Costco. We didn't really work a lot today, but I did edit, so that time counts. So um, six, six and a half hours today. Not bad. I did pick me up some King Suvlaki. I have it in the, the DoorDash bag right here. One for me, one for my wife. So she's gonna be happy about that when I go inside in about five minutes. So we drove a total of 74 miles for that money that we made. So that's basically, that. that is almost $2 a mile, almost, just almost. So we spent $20 on food, so I'm gonna, you know, that's a tax write-off right there, guys. And it was a solid day. That took us up to $695.02 for the month of February, 11 days in. And I was basically um, very close to like $100 a day, but those couple of days I took off, I needed those days off though. It kind of put us back a little bit behind, but it's fine. We're gonna catch up. We have to make $3,000 this month. So this week on Spark, we made 86.81 Dodash, some adjustment pay, $8.71. We won't be getting no adjustment pay next week because I didn't do any Dodash this week. Uber Eats 53.19, including some adjustment pay. So we are gonna get some next week too. Freight 42.75. Uh, 
Instacart winning the week, $140.92. Point pickup, $6. Senpex, $32.53. Roadie, $70.46. And even though the money is delayed for two days, let me see if it got updated. Because I've been waiting for this YouTube money to update, but it's two days behind. Yeah, we only made, um, so far, when I hit the last seven days, with two days processing, we're at 3107 this week on YouTube. It wasn't a, you know, a really good week in terms of YouTube revenue either. It went down about 50% because um, it went down a lot. Yeah, it went down by, I think, yeah. It was usually like about $60. But I didn't do a lot of uploading this week either. I was sick. I was really sick. So... Instacart, I didn't even realize I'm it's still running. Let me let me go offline on Instacart too. Crazy. So um this week guys we made 472.72. We made 472.44. Not bad for curtailed week, if you ask me. So guys, we have one more week officially. Well, what is Sunday? Today is today will be the 12th. Yeah, we have one more. Tomorrow will be the 12th calendar. So, we have one more week up until the 18th. One more week of the first phase of the chase. And then I'm going to halt recordings and then edit, catch up, and then start the next challenge. I don't know what it is yet, but you'll find out. And we are going to be up to date after this week's video. No more recordings. I'm, I'll be documenting as well and giving, you know, and, you know, I'll do a weekly summary maybe to just, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I'll give you an update. I'll keep track of the money and give you an update for when we catch up. Though. But um, last week of the first phase of the chase and then, you know, I'll do the editing catch up, as I said, and then we'll, we, we'll be current can't wait to get current man so that I, we could talk about things that's going on in in real time like yesterday or this week right now i'm still in december basically still editing in december and we're in february two months behind so guys i'm your boy dom this is gigabyte nyc subscribe to the channel if you're new like the video if you haven't yet done so let me know your thoughts down below i hope you enjoyed the video and until next time peace out and godspeed let me go in and destroy this chicken souvlaki. Guys, we talk.